Good morning. Good morning and welcome, welcome to the vlog. It is a fresh Monday and today we are doing a work day in the life vlog. I just thought I'd bring you guys through a typical work day um, in my life. Kind of really talk a bit more in depth about exactly what I actually do. So this morning, my mornings, my calendar has been quite clear. I do have a 2 p.m. briefing call for a new role that's come up, a 3 p.m. briefing call for another new role that's come up, and then I have a check-in with one of my hiring managers for three roles that I'm looking after for her at 4 p.m. So my afternoons are quite like hiring manager, business focused. So I'm gonna spend my morning and my early afternoon being more candidate focused. So at the moment, I'm just gonna start off with going through my inbox. So I'm gonna make sure that I action any emails that I can action things that are gonna take me like five minutes to do. I'm gonna action that. Um, tidy all my inboxes and then actually start doing some phone screens. So I have quite a number of roles um, Particularly for my 4 p.m. Where I need to screen candidates and then speak with the candidates See if they're suitable for the role and then kind of prepare a short list which I'm then going to present to the hiring manager um, So I need to make sure that I do that. So yeah, this morning's mainly going to just start off with a bit of admin and then very heavily focused on speaking with candidates and really trying to put shortlists together to then present to my hiring managers. Hey lovely people, um, so just thought I'd do a quick check in with you guys. So, so far I've actioned all the emails that I wanted to do for now. So I think I started off with my inbox this morning at like 124 items and now I've gotten it down to 89 items, which is really, really good. And my goal for the end of the day is I want to get it down to zero. I haven't seen my inbox down at zero for a very, very long time. So today I want to make sure but that by the time I close off for the day, I have my inbox down to zero so done the inbox part and now I'm going to do a bit of screening for a hiring manager that I have a meeting with later on so I have a senior data manager role I have a senior business analyst role and then I also have a technical business analyst role that I'm looking after for her so I've got three roles we filled one of the roles, the senior BA role. So now we have two more vacancies to fill. These roles are a bit tricky to fill just because they are 12 month contract roles. And obviously people usually tend to be more drawn to perm roles. Um, so the attraction in terms of ad response hasn't been as high as let's say if I was to advertise a permanent role. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through these 70 applications. There are some guys that have interviewed that I need to give feedback on. So one, first of all, I'm going to go through all of it, give feedback to everyone who interviewed. And then after that, I'm going to go through the application, see if there's anyone that's good, screen those candidates. Phone screens, depending on the role, they can range anywhere from like, let's say 10 minutes to 20 minutes. Um, I try to kind of keep it in that range, depending on the role. Some roles you requires a bit more time on a phone screen and it depends on the candidates. So when you're doing an initial phone screen, that's where it, I look at someone's resume, I'm like, oh, this person's quite good. I might be int I'm interested in presenting them to the hiring manager. But before I present them, I need to give them a call, talk to them a bit about the role, because sometimes people apply, but then they don't really understand what they're applying for. So double check that they're aware, for instance, that this is a 12 month role, are they comfortable with that? Double check their salary expectations, so ask them what they're currently on, what they're seeking, and then we'll see if that's kind of in line with the budget that's been set, because there's no point in me presenting a candidate for instance, who's currently on 150K, but our budget is 90K. That just isn't gonna work and it's gonna be a waste of everyone's time. I'll also check things like work rights, like do you have the correct visa? Are you a resident? Do you have, do you need sponsorship? Things like that. Check their motivation, their notice period, get to know a bit more about the experience. Is it really aligned with what we're looking for for the role? And things like that so that's kind of what a phone screen is i'll make my notes and then once i've screened a good healthy amount of candidates and i feel like i have a healthy short list to present to the hiring manager i'll kind of put that in a table send across the resumes send across the phone screen notes and 
um, they then come back to me and let me know who they want to interview. But in this instance, just because there's so much going on, um, I'm actually meeting with the hiring manager to present the shortlist. So I'll present the resumes. I'll say, this is the candidate, had this conversation with them. I think they'll be great in X, Y, Z. Anyways, I've been speaking a lot to the camera instead of actually speaking with my candidate. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing now, just reviewing resumes and then giving people a call and yeah, going from there. Adds to the senior data manager role that you've applied for. Is now a good time for a chat? Lovely. You should only take about five to 10 minutes of your time. Just want to get to know a bit more about yourself, um, talk a bit about the role and discuss possible next steps. Now two o'clock, I have to go into this briefing call for this new role. So essentially a briefing call is whenever I get a new role come up, I'll connect with the hiring manager. I speak with them, get a really good understanding of their team, get a really good understanding of what they're looking for in a candidate, what experience are they looking for, how do they want to run the recruitment process, obviously kind of advise them of best practice, but check things like, you know, how many rounds of interviews are we doing? Exactly what skill set are you looking for? Um, where, which location are you um, looking to recruit in? Um, things like the strategies that we're gonna use for going out to market, are we posting internally and externally? Are we going on LinkedIn? Are we going on Seek? Are we gonna do proactive search? Um, we'll also talk a bit about salaries, you know, what's the absolute max we can go to? Has the requisition been set up properly so that the by the time that we do go to offer, we don't have to re-raise a new requisition and all that kind of stuff. So briefing calls are quite important. It's now two o'clock, I've been talking too much. Let me head into this call. So I'm done with my briefing call and it went really, really well. I'm very excited to actually work on this role. It seems like something cool and it's something that, it's an area that I'm quite familiar with. So I'm fairly confident about this role. It is an internal only interest. I'm not sure about the volume of applications that we'll get, given that it is quite a niche area of the bank that we'll be looking into, but quite optimistic. Just had the call now. So this afternoon, after I've done all my calls for the day, I'm going to write up the job ad, send that through to the hiring manager for approval before posting it. I'll post the job ad either this evening or tomorrow morning, and then I'll check in with the hiring manager a week after I've posted the ad, um, just to kind of talk about, you know, what the um, response has been like to the job ad, any candidates that have come through, getting some feedback, seeing if she wants to interview any of the candidates that have come through and go from there. So that's kind of how it works from the moment I get an ad, from the moment I get a requisition or a job to recruit for to the moment that we kind of present our first shortlist. Is his background something that you'd consider for the SM role? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's definitely what we're looking for. So another thing that I've been noticing with candidates, salary. Why was I not fi filming from this angle the whole time? Like, I feel like this angle is just so much better. And anyway, it is now 4.30 p.m. and I am officially done with all my meetings for the day. But oh, there's still like so much work to do. Like, I'm just like, whoa. So I had two briefing calls. Um, so those are new roles coming in. And then I had one check-in call for a role some roles that I've been looking after that I just needed to check in, get interview feedback, give like them a market update, kind of talk through the pain points that we've been having and discuss next steps. For the two briefing calls that I had, I need to write up a job ad 
and get those job ads posted. For now, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna keep screening some candidates. I need to re-advertise this role. I'm gonna keep screening some candidates so that I can send a short list across through to the hiring manager. I promised them I'd send a short list today. So I just need to do that and then get these job ads up. I don't think I'm gonna get my inbox down to zero today. There's just, oh, so much still that I have to do. Anyways, let's get back to work and I'm probably gonna wrap up maybe around like 6.37 today. I just realized I hadn't closed out the vlog so this is me here as you would have seen this was just a typical work day for me days do look quite different there are some days where I'm just purely focused on sourcing so I'll be on LinkedIn and seek for hours on end trying to find candidates some days will be focused more on phone screens and presenting shortlists which is what today was I usually have about 30 33 different roles at any given point in time that I'm recruiting for sometimes volumes are much higher sometimes they're a bit lower and each role has its own different level of complexity anyway i've spoken too much i just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this vlog give you a bit of a wrap up and remind you to like and subscribe if you haven't already and with all that being said and done dream big keep well and hustle hard i'll catch you again in the next one bye